Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of Intelligent Italians. We're playing as Italy in Victoria 3 and we are going for the um, reading campaign achievement. We are up to 76.6% uh, literacy. We did start as two Sicilies. Uh, let's just go through and take a look at our literacy in our states. We're at 81 in the lower states where we started. 82 in Abruzzo, 81 here, 77, 81, 75. So we need to get it up a lot more up in the north, the north. Uh, and Sardinia is at 70. But overall, we are doing pretty good. Uh, I would like to get some better laws in place. We did get restricted child labor going, so that's going to be helpful. Um, there's not really too many laws I can push through right now. I could lower my segregation laws but I'm a little hesitant to do that simply because I do like having the amount of authority that I have under my control right now I did just reform my government to bring in the armed forces to see if I could do anything differently and found out that I cannot uh, my only other option really is to bring in people that are going to make our government less loyal so we're just going to ignore that for now and stick with what we have and see if we get anything else that pops up. We are currently trying to boost our relations with Persia so that we can peacefully subjugate them. I've been doing a lot of peaceful things in this campaign, so we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep trying to make the North German Federation like us a little more. So we could potentially try and go for the states in Italy that we don't have, but I'm not super concerned about that. My primary goal is to continue to boost up our literacy rate. Uh, we are doing quite well on technologies, though, so that is good. Um, but yeah, let's get uh, let's get time rolling a little bit here. I am just letting my private sector build most of the buildings that we need. Um, I probably could focus a little bit better, but I think we're good overall. This should start getting some more coal and stuff going. Uh, vacuum canning, we have no oil, so we can't do that. Elastics, we don't have rubber. So a lot of what we're doing is just kind of waiting. Uh, we could go to electric streetlights, but we don't have any electrical plants yet. That is something I could start building up. Um, maybe start building a couple, get some demand for electricity going, and then go from there. It's going to take a hit to our... Uh, finances for now. We're currently 13 million on credit out of 36.1. But we should be able to get that taken care of soon. Uh, let's go ahead and fund the project. Sure, it's going to cost us money, but overall we're not in bad shape. Available decisions, survey the Suez. We have plenty of resources so let's go ahead and do that uh, since we have so much extra bureaucracy at the moment we'll at least get the option to try and take it for ourselves that'll give us some new artillery pieces uh, we are going to need to build up our in ammunition as well so it's definitely something we're going to need to look into I could start pushing up towards Afghanistan because Afghanistan does have a pretty strong amount of um, opium. Oh look, Ethiopia formed. Nice, Ethiopia formed. Alright. Part of me that's like, we should try and befriend them. Or pop at them. Let's go full on uh, Mussolini. Alright, we're just going to let our money continue to roll along. I can throw another tax out there for now just to get us positive again. It's going to hurt our standard of living slightly, but not too much. We do have the um, Promote Social Mobility edict on all of our states so that we can ensure that we will get as much literacy rate rolling as possible. Wait. 
Zululand. And the Russians are with them. Are you serious? Well, we definitely are going to want the French to help. Um, I will offer them banning slavery in Baroda or Mysore. I don't even care which. And offer an obligation to the Persians. The Persians won't change things too much, so we're not going to do that. I am going to need to mobilize my army, though. We do have a lot of soldiers, so... Hopefully that'll at least be helpful for us. Reckless, reserve, pillager, offensive planner. So... We'll go ahead and get a couple set up, and I'll throw one over here as well. And then we can do some promotions. gives us a couple equal battalions so we will go ahead and mobilize all of our generals uh, we are going to send you here we'll send you here we'll send you over here you can get started on that kind of stuff Oh, they're going to have all of their subjects involved in this, too. Am I running my full military budget? I am, so... We'll at least have that for us. Try and pay off this Sardinian eruption. Uh, we're going to have to raise taxes slightly to deal with that. Wow, that was a huge boost to our income, though. Alright, so... My navy is not very strong, so I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything with them, but let's at least try to do some sort of landing on Britain. We can send another army down here too to help push here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to land on the British Isles. Not by ourselves, that's for sure. Yeah, Russia's even involved in this play, so that's... That's where most of our issues are going to come from. Is Russia being involved... Another battalion down here to help out. There goes the Suez Ismith. Um, I 
I mean, they like us quite a bit, so... Yeah, we could just buy it. Alright, let's... Try again. Send this guy down, see what he can do. Go ahead and take care of all that real quick. We're continuing to push through the Cape Colony. I mean, at this hope, our biggest bet is to get them to surrender. We'd have to outfit our troops better, probably, to do too much. Conquer Zululand, ban slavery in Baroda. I'm not going to accept that peace deal. Although, I'm probably going to have to. We'll just we'll just give them Zululand. That's fine. I I do not care. I was not doing much with it anyway. So let's go ahead and remove a couple taxes to continue to keep our money in a good spot. Losing that war was not the best thing for us, but what are you gonna do, right? I guess we'll try and keep the relate our relations higher with the Russians. I'm still fishing for another obligation from. Persia, but we're probably not going to get that, honestly. We're going to fall back to a major power unless our standing recovers. Okay, there we go. We've acquired the canal. I will go ahead and incorporate it, and we can also go ahead and just start doing a um, social mobility edict, and maybe even a... I'm not seeing it. I was going to say, isn't there an edict that would directly give us more... Um, We'll go ahead and remove this too. Um, migration bonuses. That's really weird to see Russia with Crete. Mines, yeah, synthetic plants. They're still building what we need. So I am totally fine with all of that. Yeah, four power plants, we're not going to be able to do much with that, but uh, we are going to want to start looking to use some electricity in places where it makes sense. Like maybe do a couple electric sawmills, but we don't even have that much electricity going from those. I wonder if I were to switch to electric streetlights, it would cost us a lot of money initially.
Hmm. Trading with Spain, sure, we can do that. Some more taxation capacity. Can support more declared interest. I'm not concerned with doing anything like that. Oh, we need a, um... We need to build a port here, huh? Go ahead and build a port. Sure, we'll make the uh, intelligence here radical. That's fine by me. I'm just going to keep my taxes where they're at so I can keep working towards changing our, um, our setup there. Now that we have more authority we're not currently using, I could consider adjusting this. I still don't think I really want to, though. Oh, let's boost up our literacy. I didn't realize we got another level of that. And our home affairs, too. We have plenty of bureaucracy to do both of those. Uh, I'll take the extra legitimacy, actually. That's... That's something I really would like. Yeah, extra legitimacy will definitely be helpful for us. We'll go ahead and build the Suez Canal as well. Oh, there it is. Greener Grasses Campaign. That's what I was looking for. I just want to get some people living down here. So we can have people to work in the canal itself. Uh, journal entry, expand power plants, all that fun stuff. And then also, I think... Getting ourselves a level 5 power plant would not be too bad of an idea either, so... We'll go ahead and build one of those up. It's going to put us in the hole slightly. can easily overcome that with a furniture tax. We've got the combustion engine unlocked. Another journal entry will give us uh, public transit. We're slowly eating away at our debt. Our authority is slowly ticking down as we research our better institutions. We're up to 81% on our literacy, so that is still scaling very nicely. We're getting close to a bureaucratic shortfall, though. So we should look to build... A little bit of government administration. There we go. We can build a couple of those. There's our education investment. There's our home affairs investment. And we are still in good shape. Make sure the industrialists are getting more power. Do a trade agreement with the North German Empire. That's fine. swap any of these profitably does not look like it that's not too bad let's get that one going you are profitable 
You're not. You can't. You guys would be very profitable. As would you guys. Breach loaders would be a good idea as well. As would the rotary valve engine. That's not really going to cost us anything, so we'll do it. We'll publicly trade you as well. Uh, we can go ahead and lower this. And then we can also go through and do the same thing with our production buildings. We can do the lead mines, that's fine, that's not too expensive. Basically, as long as it's not super expensive, I am willing to do it. Alright, so we got that taken care of. We are currently working on building the Suez Canal. Continuing to grow our GDP. Continuing to grow our literacy. We are number five in the world. Behind Holstein, Württemberg, Schleswig, and Krakow. So out of, like, big countries, we are way up there. Which is very good. Spain wishes to enter wishes for us to enter their customs union? No 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 no. No no you would join ours is how that's gonna work if we're gonna do this. So if I bankroll Spain, how expensive is that? And we can do some new techs. So we've gotten ourselves all caught up. We should be on tier five or tier four. Uh, we do need feminism, so let's work on that. It's almost done anyway, and then we can start jumping to the next tiers. So we're going to want some more better versions of production. So pneumatic tools we can throw on as well. Uh, art silk. Well, that would give us silk, not. Rubber. I thought that would give us rubber. So if we want rubber, we're going to have to do something to get it. Uh, we can go for nitrogen and fixation. That's fine. That mechanized slaughterhouses is pretty good. Go ahead and get a submarine. Go for war propaganda and trench works and war gaming. Keep pushing ourselves as much as we can in that direction. And I can go ahead and get ourselves one of these to continue to keep our money in a good spot. Our standard of living is still going up. Our literacy rate is still going up. Well, let's take a look at our laws. Not really anything worth pushing through. France wants us to enter the custom machine. I still don't think so, France. And Scandinavia is colonizing down in the Congo. Mostly just focusing in on our uh, reading. Making sure we are getting quite a bit of reading in. Now look, the USA is starting to push their way into Africa too. Oh, they're actually pretty strong. They did lose, or they didn't take Nevada yet. Uh, attempt to sway 
They'll give us an obligation if we help them against the United States. Who are you else at war with in this? Russia joined, or no, Austria joined them. I mean, that would require me to go head to head with Russia or with Austria. I'm just not willing to do that. I mean, I know Great Britain will win, but I would have to deal with quite a bit of fighting to get through there. not seeing it there it is government administration we'll build one more won't take too long 83 percent on our literacy so still steadily going up our gdp is still steadily going up standard living still steadily going up so really doing what we can to make sure we're in a good spot there are our pneumatic tolls We could still go back to serfdom. Just saying. A trade agreement with Austria, sure. Still steadily climbing there. Did we get you guys incorporated yet? No, you're only 22% complete. We have constructed the canal. They're unable to fully hire. 29 out of 5,000. So we are just going to let that continue to go. We're fishing for a couple obligations, which we have not gotten yet. And uh, yeah, I do think that is a good place to end this episode. So if you liked the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.